up, dudes? General Santucci, we're redoing unit comparisons because of patch nine, and now I'm joined here with Unrivaled Skyrim. Hey, what's up? He's the man. He's got one beast of a computer, and he is good as hell at making uh, cinematics. So check out his channel. He's gonna. Uh, he's he has some good stuff coming out, and, and we're working on uh, the battle for Salus if uh, Rome Two will allow us to uh, play the <laughs> replays. Because uh, we really do uh, take our time to make sure everything is accurate. We did it two times and it didn't come out quite right because uh, it wouldn't let us replay. Yeah, unfortunately. Keeps on crashing on us. As sad as it is, we're going to kill... Well, I'm going to attempt to kill some uh, chariots in the snow. Yeah, I'm going to try to take out my anger and rage. Oh, I'm impaling himself on some spears. And maybe we could... <laughs> get through some of those men and chop them up. Yeah. Slice them up. I bet you could though. Now we're gonna we uh it looks like the Gauls have imported some uh some of these damn um whatever the hell they're called chariots. The Gauls. Ooh, they, yeah, they this is in Gaul. Oh okay. <laughs> All right, where's your dudes? Wow, the Macedonians look kind of different. Oh my god, they definitely do. I don't have any mods on for these guys, so. They're not Chariots old, look the same. They're not all breastplated. Oh, this all march right, is full. Alright, I'm just gonna charge straight into you. Sounds good to me. I'll do a steady thing. Hold on, I just gotta pop in this charger. I love it when my uh, headset starts to die while I'm doing a recording. Uh, it happens. Wow, uh, the pikes look so much better. I don't know why. Let's get an insert. Oh, that is weird. They got, like, different armor on. Yeah. Those are the foot companions? Yeah. This is the ones from the Alexander movie. Yeah. Oh, damn. Tell them to halt. Yeah, better bracing. There is no bracing. Oh my god! <laughs> well, patch 9 beta for you. Alright, they actually held them up. They are kind of pushing forward, but you haven't lost any men yet. Oh Good. man. Oh, what did happen? I didn't see that. Yeah, you guys are totally screwed up my chariots I'm trying to get another oh man yeah they're done they ran oh yeah how many guys do you could lose not many so they're... chariots debunked they cannot charge straight into heavy pike infantry anymore about time without getting impaled Stuck hey, uh, on those pikes. It's good that way because uh Oh yeah. <laughs> because our freaking battle uh we had we're fighting those um those players and it's just like was such BS. Yeah, all it took was just one chariot unit to take out like one third of my army. Yeah. All I had to do was click like one attack order and just like went straight through my guys. It was just like cut the them to pieces. It's just terrible. It was like the Terminator just ran through with a minigun and just tore him up. <laughs> like, that's pretty much what it was. If, if the Terminator was there, I would think you'd have a better chance of surviving that. <laughs> like, you, you just spear him with a couple, you know, spears and he's not going uh, anywhere. <laughs> he just breaks the spears and just starts kicking the shit out of everyone. Yeah, and he just says pretty much F this. Do you have another general around or something? Yeah, this is carrying an axe, man. I kind of have a Scythian, um, sorry, a side chariot as my general. Oh, sweet. So I'm just going to march these guys to their deaths. Sweet. Yeah, because it happened a lot. It ended very quickly. Yeah. And I, I figured we give the uh, viewers uh, some greatness. Yeah, these guys are, they, I don't know where these guys come from, but they look pretty cool. They're, they wield an axe and small shield and I guess they got javelins you know what they need to fix that um, because uh, they use it like a, a sword 
-hmm. And I'm like, why are they like, how, why does it look like they stabbed that guy with like a with a sword? Mm -hmm. They got an axe. I don't understand this. Yeah, they need to need to make some like hacking animations if they if yeah, they, they haven't have, already. They definitely don't have it. And there's uh, Eric Carthy said pikes are horrible. Um, I I can tell you right now they're not because I uh, I won a battle with pikes already. And uh, he he clearly uh, he really underestimates pikes because he thought that I he's like man I didn't think your pikes were gonna do anything so why wouldn't they do anything <laughs> they have these giant spears in front of them but... oh man we gotta get some of this close up here what the... here we go Ooh. oh yeah not many guys getting through that. But this is a medium, um, oh, wait. medium hey. melee infantry. Oh. But the, but what's changed is they won't like, they won't kill like as fat as quickly from the front now, and it'll give this these infantry dudes some time to attack the flanks like they're doing right now. Now, what if I were to tell my pikemen to move forward? Let's find out. You know what? Get that, ch get that shot. Okay, now they're like... Now <laughs> they're just staring at each other. Ooh, now their companions are losing a lot of men. There you go, look at that. There's a general right there. Okay, now my guys are getting messed up. Rally! Oh, he just smacked your your uh, commander. Yeah, in the I face. see that. Oh. Oh, he just stabbed that guy. Right through the uh, armor, man. Yeah. He's a beast. He's like, ah, get off me! I'm from Carrier. <laughs> Guys, just imagine. You see how good this looks here. Imagine the Battle of Pharsalus, far mm. as you call it, Pharsalus. When we get that working. You're gonna see honor and glory like you've never seen before. Chaos and madness on the battlefield. Yeah, cause we got this down. down Heroes pat. will be made. Yeah. Legends will be told, man. Centurion guys, craftiness is gonna show you how it's done. I know I'm staring at the general right now, but I'll, I just want to see what he does. Yeah, he's hanging in there. Oh man. Being a carrying it at all, you know. It's doing pretty good. The enemy general yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, get off me, son. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this view. Oh, they're done. Yeah, so I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a, a pretty cool battle. I mean, one on one. I thought the uh, chariots were going to do a little bit more damage, but uh, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, they they coming from the front, I mean, some of them came through the pikes, but they were just stuck and they just couldn't move, and that's how chariots do their damage, by moving past troops with their size and cutting them down. Yeah, I mean, if they um, if they go straight forward, they're not doing any damage. If they go sideways, they're doing damage, but they only have so much that they can use. Mm -hmm. Well, so, that's a huge contrast to what they used to be. Oh, capable, yeah. capable of being like, a, they could totally go through that phalanx before it's just like crazy because me and you are so skilled at this game and <laughs> that um before we even got into a pro prolonged infantry engagement we were dead by uh two elephant units and two chariot units that was it mm -hmm. and i and I, I swear to god if you guys seen my live stream uh, you would have saw that I was freaking out because I was trying to run my three Praetorian cavalry away from an elephant unit that was fast as a Ferrari that was just <laughs> plowing through. It was like the freaking elephants from Lord of the Rings. Mm. Like I was, I was looking like I was, I was almost looking for the tusks with the freaking spikes on it. And the guy <laughs> on top, like <laughs> like, like the movie. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, I, I'm about to go Rohan on these guys. <laughs> But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned to, for uh, tomorrow's video, and we're going to take it to the house. Thanks for watching.